This is Journey from Wild, session 18 with Oliver. Today I was worked on leading him out of the round yard into the arena again, like we did yesterday. Yesterday was the first time doing that and he did really well. And today he was even better. He was really relaxed, just following me around on the lead rope really happily. So then I wanted to start working on releasing him and re-catching him in the big arena. This is all preparation to be able to put him out in a paddock. So I let him go and then I went to reapproach and he actually took himself back in the round yard, which was kind of funny. Um, I don't know whether he felt more secure in there or whether he thought he was done and he was going to have a drink or get some hay. But anyway, I just went in there and re him. He's getting really good at allowing me to walk up, give him a little treat and a pat and put the rope halter on without relying on touching the web halter that he's wearing. Again, that's in preparation to be able to take that web halter off so he doesn't have to wear that all the time because for me that's a safety hazard. I don't like leaving halters on like I explained yesterday in session 17 video. Um, but it just makes the training process in these early days much easier because I was able to just walk up and eventually just walk up and clip a lead rope on whereas before... It was quite a process to catch him each time in the yard, in the small yard initially. So that's why I leave that on. But now I want to be able to take that off. So here I brought him out and I shut that gate so that I could again release him and practice catching again without him putting himself back into the round yard. He's doing really well with this. He's made such good progress in the last few days. I'm really pleased with how much he's trusting me now, uh, particularly on this left side, which he was really protective of. He would block with his head quite a lot and didn't like me being on that left side. And now he's getting really quite comfortable with that. He still snorts sometimes and he still backs away or you know, thinks about leaving at times, but he's really not trying to pull away like he was, which is really good. So obviously before I want to lead him out in the open towards a paddock, um, I needed to make sure that he was comfortable leading and being caught and released in the big arena where if he did pull away from me and get the lead rope out of my hand, even though it's a 22-foot rope, that is still possible. If he wants to leave, he can leave. So I want to make sure that that's really solid before I take him out in the open to lead him to a paddock where I'd have to lead him back and forth each day to work with him in the arena or the round yard. I don't want him pulling away. We've got a lot of construction going on with the new arena being built for the indoor arena next to this arena. So there's lots of stuff um, that I wouldn't want him to run through all that if he did pull away from me because that would be quite dangerous for him. So I'm making sure that that's really solid with that catch and release and leading in the contained arena. And hopefully maybe tomorrow we might be able to go out to a paddock. So I'm really pleased with the progress that he's making. He's really letting down and trusting a lot more now and it's just really, really nice to see as a 14-year-old horse who's, you know, had quite a lot of fear of humans. Um, not that he's been ever been treated badly, he's just been unhandled. Um, it's really nice to see him coming around and starting to enjoy human company a little bit. So you can see here he's now confident taking the food from my hand and that's being really helpful with um, this process of catching and releasing because he does quite like to get the treat now so that's really helping he knows that there's something good in it for him so yeah that's where we're at with Oliver um, after 18 sessions over the past six weeks I think I've had him now really good